Hi guys, welcome again to my channel. Today I have a very anticipated unboxing, at least for me personally, because I got the Cauldron Crate uh, Deadly Chest and what's extra fun, this box came also with a tube. So I'm really curious to see um, what sorts of items these are hiding. But before we dive into the box, uh, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome to Quill Scene. My name is Megan. If you like things that have to do with Harry Potter, with Disney, with Star Wars, with magic, with witchy things, with books, with writing, with all that sort of stuff, with anything geeky really, then you're in the right place. Make sure to click on the magical subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell button because on that way you'll always get a new notification whenever I upload a new video. Um, but yeah, I think we've waited long enough. Time to see what this deadly chest and this little tube have in store for us. So, as usual, before we start, a little bit more information about Colin Crate. Uh, Colin Crate is a company based in the UK. They do every few months, uh, they release a box. Um, the past few boxes were um, based on the Harry Potter books. Uh, so this one was their, I'm now thinking, their seventh book, a seventh box, uh, called The Deadly Chest, so inspired by The Deadly Hallows. Um, now, um, because they finished their, um, yeah, their, their book series, basically, they have uh, announced a new um, collection and that will be the Horrocrox collection and their first box will be uh, the diary chest so based around Tom Riddle's diary um, and yes I already ordered it because Cauldron Crate is such a beautiful and lovely company they work with small shops they make include handmade original items and I just love that um, as I said, uh, I ordered the premium chest from both um, the Deadly Chest as from the Diary one that will come soon. Um, that one is the most priciest tier of their boxes, um, but that one includes basically all the items that they have come up with. You also have the normal box um, and that one will come, I think, with three or four less items, so you can choose which... Um, version that you like the best but um, yeah we've waited long enough time for a sneak peek of this very deadly chest so we have our little banked up uh, deadly chest box from Colin Crate and when we open it the first thing we see is of course a spoiler cut red tissue paper and underneath are all goodies hiding So yeah, first things first, on top is this little um, piece of paper, but that's a spoiler sheet, so I'm not going to put too much attention on that right now. We'll come to that later on. Time to flip up my beautiful Burgundy Gryffindor rat um, tissue paper. And the first thing we see is something black. I have to cut it a bit. Well. <laughs> because the, the wormies are like this straw-like thingy. And we have a t-shirt, a black one. Ooh, but look at that. We have like a little um, red um, Deadly Hallows uh, sigil with, of course, the line from Gryffindor, because I'm a Gryffindor, so I'm guessing uh, this one uh, will be house themed because when you order from um, Cauldron Create you have to let them know um, which size of t-shirt you would like but also what your house is and I'm a Gryffindor so yeah little Gryffindor baby lion I love it I love it and it's a very simple design um, it's on a black t-shirt so it's actually easily to combine with anything and it is Harry Potter, but not in your face, Harry Potter. So nice start to the box. Then we have some things wrapped in bubble wrap. Let's go for the little baby bottle. Yeah, something liquid. Ooh, it's like this 
but I already can see like this milky white um, liquid so I'm thinking could this be like a memory vial Ooh, I'm pretty sure this is a memory vial <gasps> and it has like an S uh, the wax seal has on the top an S I don't know if you guys can see it very well um, and there is like this little charm and on the charm it says after all this time always and there is also a little dough in it so um, when you shake it you have like this beautiful gorgeous swirling um, yeah liquid potion bottle basically and I think it's safe to say since this is after all the deadly chest we all know what happens in the last book slash film that this is um, the memory of Severus Snape who finds basically Lily's dead body so um, yeah bittersweet but also beautiful bottle and I love the swirling effect so yeah nice addition to my potion collection especially since it's from the potion master himself but I'm pretty sure this isn't the only potion because there is something else wrapped in bubble wrap that is way bigger than that so um, but we'll keep that till later um, we have like this little uh, yeah wrapped bowl of something and what does it oh it has like wings what does it say I open at the close our zingy uplifting citrus filled golden bat bomb contains secret hidden surprises within and is our ode to Albus Dumbledore and that enchanted snitch caution not edible okay so I'm guessing this is like a bat bomb I'm going to open it carefully luckily I still have to vacuum in here so if we make a mess we make a mess <laughs> if I get the little ribbons open and there it does it says I open at the close so maybe it has like a little surprise hidden inside I don't know and they had like these labels that are like snitch wings <laughs> cute okay let's see I'm going to open it here on my little table Ooh, is it with glitter? Yes, with glitter. Damn, now my hands are full of glitter. Um, but yeah, I'm going to show it to you like this. It is like a little ball, bad ball. But it seems like it exists out of two parts. So I'm carefully going to pull the ribbon. And my hands are still full of uh, glitter. Where is my... Maybe it's easier if I just take my scissors and just snippity snip the entire thing. Come on. Yes, there we go. I have to uh, go and wash my hands in a little bit because otherwise everything will be covered in like this gold and dusty. Whoa, okay. Okay, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you guys a little close up, but... The inside of the bad bomb is filled with like Himalayan salt, I think. And in the middle, we find this, the resurrection stone. How cool is this? So it's, yeah, it's exactly like in the movies and in the books. Uh, my golden snitch, the bottom part did break a little, but uh, yeah, I really, really like it. The, especially the fact that they added like uh, the little surprise inside yeah really really love it now i only have to be careful that i don't throw my himalayan salt everywhere <laughs> okay the golden glare on my hands is better so okay just let's go continue with the unboxing let's go for this too because that one has intrigued me a lot uh i'm going to use my scissors again because it has been sealed at the sides like that should do it. What could you be? Something long. No way. I just see a little bit of the silhouette. I think you guys can too. Is this the Elder Wand? That would be so cool if this is the Elder Wand because we already have the Resurrection Stone. 
And then the other one, then we then we only miss like the, the invisibility cloak. Then we have all... Oh, <laughs> I think we, we're going to have all three of the Horrorcruxes. Look how beautiful! Whoa, I love the details in this one. This has to be a handmade wand. Wow, this one is beautiful. I didn't have a replica of the um, Elder Wand yet. But this one is really beautiful and I'm pretty sure this can um, easily match the one uh, that I think Noble and such do. So the official replicas. But this one is beautiful. I'm really curious to see who made it. But uh, I love it. I love it. And I'm really curious because we already have the Resurrection Stone in our Bad Bomb from earlier. Now we have like the Elder Wand. So the only thing to, you know, complete our, our little uh, Deadly Hallows uh, sigil is of course the um, Invisibility Cloak. So maybe that one is also in here. So let's take a look at other items. Ooh, I have the pin. Um, Cauldron Create creates a pin for every box and this one holds um, of course the Sword of Gryffindor as centerpiece with a uh, fox swings at the side and uh, of course uh, some fire and I'm pretty sure this one is a nod to uh, Neville who takes the sword very heroically and basically behats Nagini. So yeah, really, really cool. Love the colors. Love also the fact that it's like this bigger pin. Um, so yeah, I'm ca I can't wait to add it to my uh, pin flags or pin board. I'm not sure yet where I'm going to add it, but really nice pin. And next we have little thingies. We have a little velvet pouch. Let's see. Ooh, I think this is going to be a coin. It feels like it's sturdy metal, very thick metal, and it's round. So maybe a coin? Pretty sure it's a coin. Then my Niffler will be very happy. Yes, it is a coin. I'm going to put that one aside for a minute. Uh, is this like Dumbledore's army coin? So it's uh, one galleon. Very goldy, very, very shiny. And then on the back we have Dumbledore's army uh, sign and of course the uh, date. And that one would always change to the next meeting so that you could all, you could always know when the next meeting was without anyone being t tipped off who shouldn't know about Dumbledore's army. So yeah, really cool. Didn't have one yet. And I love the fact that it's like this really shiny gold. Um, I have like a little Niffler sitting right there and I have one there too. So I'm pretty sure they will be very happy with this. Uh, ooh, we have a book cover, I think it is. Look how cool! <laughs> it is Rita Skeeter, The Life and Lies of Albus Dumbledore. And on the back we even have like the writer herself. Another spellbinding triumph from the Queen of the Quill, set by the Daily Prophet, who scores it five stars. And it is, like I said, a book cover, so you open it up, and on the inside it has like these little black and white polka dots, and you put your cover in here, and then you put it back like this, and then you have your own little version of the life and lies of Albus Dumbledore. Really, really like it. Really uh, stunning um, book cover. I'm pretty sure I'm going to just, you know, um, put a notebook or something in it and then add it on my shelves like it's an actual, you know, uh, edition of the book because it looks really lifelike. And I love the design of the cover. So, uh, yeah, really cool. And it. Yeah, it fits the team because I'm pretty sure that the life and lies of Dumbledore came out after he died. So, um, yeah, really nice. Then let's go for the other bubble wrap because it's being, it's it's in my way for the other items. So I'm pretty sure this one, yeah, 
we have another potion bottle. I'm going to carefully wrap it. Ooh, pretty. Ooh, pretty. And it is Gertie Root Infusion. Road bike, Cinephilius, love goods. Oh, right, because those are like these. Aren't those the plants that Luna's dad um, harvests? And it is like this deep purplish liquid. And it's, it's almost like soap like the thickness because it doesn't, it isn't a swirly potion. And if you look really closely, I don't know if you can see it well on the camera, but. There are like these uh, leaves and such in, so it's a Gertie Root, yes, Gertie Root infusion with the plants in it. And the little uh, wax seal on the top also has a G from Gertie Roots. Uh, again, <laughs> didn't have a potion like this yet. Um, so yeah, really cool. And I love the fact that it was brewed by Luna's dad. So my potion cabinet is, yeah, growing with every box I get, it's, it's, an, it's insane. And now that I also make my own potions, it grows even f yeah faster. So I'm pretty sure I have to make my one shelf into two shelves. But yeah, um, I'm getting hopefully rather soon uh, a magical room for myself where I can put both my um, Harry Potter collection, but also my Wicca collection and my Wicca stuff that I keep. Um, so my little uh, secret, sacred um, magical space. So I hope that I can, you know, give everything a nice place there. Next, we have this little um, purple tissue paper with the Cauldron Crate sticker. And when we open it... Oh my god, I think we have our last, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure this is, <laughs> we have our last um, Deadly Hallow. It is a scarf, like a really thin scarf. You can use it as a scarf or you can use it, like I think, as, as like, you know, a, a fabric just for, for to lay on a table for making pictures and stuff. And it has like this very celestial pattern. It has stars, it has like these wormholes. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this is meant to be, uh, to represent the invisibility cloak because that's kind of like the pattern that you also find on um, the Funkos from Harry holding his uh, invisibility cloak. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this one is uh, our last Deadly Hallow. So we have our entire collection. Really love it. Love the design. Um, again, haven't had one of these before. So uh, yeah, I really, really like it. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to use it even more as like a photo background than as an actual scarf, but still really cool. Okay, so far we have all our uh, Deadly Hallows. I always want to say Horrorcroxes, but it aren't Horrorcroxes. It's called Deadly Hallows. Um, okay, next we have like little uh, cards. And I know she, uh, the, the person behind Cold and Create, um, designed this a while back. So I'm pretty sure because she said um, these boxes were actually supposed to ship the end of 2020. Um, but because of COVID, a uh, few items were delayed, so she has to put she has to postpone it until early 2021. Uh, and she said she would add something extra as an apology for that. So I'm pretty sure um, these are uh, she meant the cards with that. Uh, we have one of a snow globe with Hogwarts in it. She also has a pin of this um, because that one I own that pin and it's somewhere on my. Um, on my pin flag. Then we have <laughs> Merry Christmas, Love, Kildroy Lockhart. Uh, and we also have this cute little um, card with all the Weasley jumpers on it. Um, so we have Arthur, Molly, um, 
is it Bill? Yeah, Bill, Charlie, Percy, Fred, George, Ron, and Ginny. So everyone is um, part a part in this little uh, Weasley jumper um, card. So yeah, really cool. Not sure if I'm going to send them out or keep them for myself because you can also, you know, frame them or put them on display. So yeah, um, not sure yet. We'll see. We'll see. Um, there are still some things in this box. Uh, we have something familiar, which is uh, a little patch, an iron-on patch um, of the same um, Deadly Hallows sigil with the line for Gryffindor. So that one was also the design that was on my t-shirt. So I'm, again, I'm pretty sure that if you are a Ravenclaw, you got the Ravenclaw version. If you're a Hufflepuff or a Slytherin, you got the Hufflepuff or Slytherin version. So yeah, really nice. Uh, then we have, yes, I always love these. Something else that you um, yeah, can count on on every cauldron crate uh, that you order is that there are a little bag with stickers in it. Um, also designed by uh, the person behind um, cauldron crate and we have the beautiful deadly hello sign in like aqua colors uh, with always another one with uh, that in it as the tale of the three brothers we have a little dough with again always which is the patronus from um, first from Lily and then later on from also Severus we have the movie poster, well not poster, but like scene from the movie, from the Deadly Hallows. We have, again, always, but with the A at Deadly Hallows sigil. We have a very spooky one of Voldemort with his pet snake, Nagini. Uh, then we have, now I have to take a look, how do you put it like this? This is like the... Almost like this one is cool. This one is like the Hogwarts uh, crest, but with all of the horrorcruxes in it. You can see, like on the top, Ruina Ravenclaw's diadem. You can see Nagini. You can see the locket. Uh, you see the little um, lightning bolts for Harry. What else do we have? Uh, we see the Hufflepuff cup. Uh, we see the diary also, and we see on the bottom. Right here we see uh, the silhouette of the ring. So yeah, really cool, really cool design. Uh, speaking about horrorcruxes, here is one of the most beautiful ones, uh, Rowena Ravenclaw's diadem. We have uh, more Deadly Hallows sigils with again a doe like Patronus that is called Forward. So I guess again this one is an art to Severus Snape. And then they're uh, a very emotional one. We have a little image of uh, Dobby and it says, Dobby, we will always remember you. Here lies Dobby the free elf. So yeah, really cool. I um, use these stickers mostly to um, decorate my little trolley that I am also have beside me. Um, but I have to admit, my trolley is getting a bit full of stickers. So... Um, yeah, I don't know what, what I'm going to do with these. <laughs> I'm probably going to add them, see if I can still find some places on my trolley, but the other ones will find a place too, without a doubt. Uh, then we have... something papery. It's thick, and I can feel, I think, wax seals. Could this be the last will of Dumbledore? <laughs> yes. Oh my god, this is beautiful. See, this is what I like about Cauldron Create. They do so much detail. So we have like the last will of Albus, Percival, Wilfrig, Brian, Dumbledore. And we have all like the little pages that say like um, what he leaves to. Ron and then to Hermione and then to Harry and 
we also have like that he I think in states um, Professor McGonagall as his um, successor in the uh, for for Hogwarts as the headmistress and then oh I love it I um, don't want to you know ruin the wax seals because I love these we have like the one wax seal shows um, Hogwarts sigil and the other one has like the Ministry of Magic on it really cool didn't have a replica of uh, this one yet so again really really cool and then we have something else we have a little necklace if I'm not mistaken so we have a little necklace which again um, the Deadly Hallows symbol on it and like a little flower on here if I'm not mistaken this looks a lot like um, the necklace um, Luna's dad wears um, at Bill and Fleur's wedding so that would be cool if this is like a little replica I like it really like it and I'm pretty sure that you can like yeah you can move the flower so you can make it a bit tighter or loose as you please so yeah really really cool and then we have one last paper thingy in the bottom yes and it is oh my god it's the it's the the um personalized item and apparently i am muggle boy <laughs> So this is um, the Muggleborn registration form um, and it has my name on it and then the re big um, red stamp Muggleborn. I'm not sure if that's right because I think I would be a half-blood because my mom is also part witch. So yeah. Um, and then you can also, uh, you know, Put in things like where you live, your date of birth, your birthplace, your profile, what eye color you have, your hair color, your weight, your height, and so on. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, this is indeed the uh, registration forms that they used when uh, Voldemort was, you know, high and mighty to uh, register all the non pure bloods. So, uh, yeah. And apparently I'm a Muggleborn, but yeah, I really like uh, the fact that they also try to include like personalized items. So yeah, really, really cool. And that was everything in this premium Dudley chest box. So time for our little spoiler card. The Deadly Chest. I hope you have enjoyed unboxing the seventh and final installment of my book series of chests. Don't forget to tag me in your unboxing photos. My products are always vegan and cruelty free. I also aim to use a little, as little plastic as I can. And when I do use plastic, it's biodegradable. That's true because um, also on the, like the little um, bags the cards came in. Uh, on the back it says um, compostable bag, so that's really cool. So we start with um, our. Oh, I have to find it. Where did I put it? Did I put it in here somewhere? Yes. Uh, this beautiful necklace, and it is indeed Xenophilius Love Goods Love Goods necklace, a replica which was handmade by Cauldron Create themselves. My own interpretation of the controversial necklace worn by Luna's dad. Just don't let Victor Crumb see you wearing it. True, because if I'm not mistaken, uh, he has like this... Uh, yeah, he isn't a fan of, of, of the Deadly Hallows and such. So yeah, really nice uh, necklace. Then we have our little... Well, not little, but very luxurious last will of... Albus Dumbledore. Uh, this one was made by the graphic design, so all the, the graphics were made by um, Wizards, Wizards Among Us and was then assembled by Cauldron Crate. 
enjoy this cute, fully readable replica of the gorgeous Dumbledore's will. Printed on high quality texture paper and finished with hand stamped wax seals from both the Ministry and Hogwarts. So yeah, I really love this one. It looks so authentic, so uh, yeah, can't wait to, to put this uh, among my little collection. Well, not little, it's not little anymore. It's growing every day. <laughs> um, then we had our little bag uh, filled with stickers inspired by um, book seven. Uh, and this, these ones are also made by Cauldron Crate. Uh, then we had our personalized Muggleborn re registration um, form. Whoa, where did I get it? Yeah, registration certificate, also made handmade by a Cauldron Crate. A personalized replica in the form of you know who's ministry. Uh, they used it to keep tabs on all our favorite characters. Have you been classified as pureblood, halfblood or muggleborn? So I was classified as a muggleborn, though I'm pretty sure I'm a halfblood. I have to talk with my mom about this. But uh, yeah. Uh, then we have our beautiful Snape's memory bottle, also handmade by a uh, cauldron crate. Uh, Snape's tear-jerking last moments have been bottled in the container for your per usual perusal. I'm learning new words in English every day. Uh, shake the bottle gently to see the memory swirl, like it is in the pensive. So indeed, it has like this beautiful swirling effect. Really like it. I always love it when we get potion bottles and especially if they ha are like this quality, it's even more fun to get them. Then we had our golden snitch bath bomb. I'm not going <laughs> to show them because then everything because now that it's loose, it's like everywhere. Um, it was a vendor collaboration with the little shop of uh, Flatter of Ladders, I think it is. And then it's a Cauldron Create exclusive, so it was specially made for uh, this box. Um, and then we also had the Resurrection Stone. This one was also made handmade by Cauldron Create. And if you're wondering where the item is, can you remember where Harry found it? So indeed inside our little golden snitch. Now I have another replica of the Resurrection Stone. Really like it. Um, then we had our Gryffindor Salt Pin, which is uh, this one. Um, designed by Azura Arts and it's a Cauldron Crate exclusive. Uh, I could not exclude the sword that always helps our beloved Gryffindors in their time of need. This pin is designed around the first time we met the sword, the Gryffindor sword. So yeah, really cool with, Ho with Fox bringing it to Harry. Uh, then we have our invisibility cloak scarf, which one was this? And this one was also designed by Cauldron Crate. So yeah, really love it. You can use the scarf, you can use it as a decoration. You can use it, lay it out on the table uh, as a photo backdrop. So yeah, really, really cool. And they don't too much of the invisibility cloak as an item. So yeah, really cool. Um, then we also had our house, Hallows Iron on Patch. Where did I put that one? Right here. So that one was this. So uh, the beautiful design was uh, created by uh, Shayna Creates and I always have the best experience working with her and I'm always in love with her creations. And indeed because it says house hallows iron on patch so everyone, if you got another house, if you're in another house as Gryffindor you got of course a different uh, pattern on this one. And then I have to put, uh, flip the page over. Uh, then we had our uh, item that came in the tube, this beautiful, beautiful uh, Elder Wand. And this one was uh, a collaboration with Wandcraft Designs. This one is so cool. I love it. I love it. Uh, I love the detail put in it. This is, it seems like an actual replica that was, I don't know, plucked out of the, of the sets of the movie. So yeah, really cool. Going to put it gently in there, um, and then we also so until 
this point those were um, the items that were also in the normal box uh, now we go on to the uh, premium items we had our I put that one here our uh, Gurdjie Root infusion uh, which was also handmade by a uh, cauldron crate uh, and then we also had our um, t-shirt that also supported our uh, house pride so I'm a Gryffindor again if you were in another house you would get another um, print on it uh, then we also had our oh whoa okay so apparently this beautiful DA coin is uh, made from 24 karat gold and it's a vendor collaboration with Dumbledore's Army HQ oh I love it and I'm pretty sure my nifflers will love it even more um and then the last one was this uh, little book cover slash sleeve uh, the life and lives book sleeve and this was an a collaboration with Book Bestie UK and then of course that isn't on this spoiler sheet but we also had like um, these little collection of uh, fun uh, cards as a little apology for uh, the late um, delivery so but still we understand especially now in these COVID times and now that also the snow has kicked in and stuff like that so yeah no worries we understand but still nice that you you know put a little extra in the box i adored this box i can't pick any favors because i loved every single thing um i'm already curious to see because i'm already thinking like what can you do around the diary except of course the diary itself so i'm really curious about that box um but yeah, let me know down in the comments what you thought of this box. What was your favorite item? Did you have a least favorite item? Um, maybe there was even something you missed in this box. Uh, just let me know down below in the comments. Also down below in the description box, you will find uh, a link to my other social media, such as my Instagram and my blog. Because as usual, there will be lots and lots of pictures on my Instagram with uh, these items playing the hat role. Um, and there also will be eventually a blog post in both Dutch and English on my blog uh, that is basically this entire unboxing written out. Then all that's left to say is thank you guys so so much for watching. If you like this video don't forget to give it a little thumbs up because it helps me more than you know. And hopefully I'll see you guys soon for another bookish magical video. Bye! Mm -hmm.